You <laughs> Me. Our passions, your entertainment. Hello, YouTube. This is uh, Vangir, a.k.a. Stefan. Sitting alongside with... Andrew, also known as UberBTG. And, uh... Andrew here is going to be watching me play Cities Skylines for the first time. Um, the latest and greatest in city building simulators. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So it looks like I get to choose my area. Uh, I don't want islands. I don't want to build New York. Do we want to try and make your, you know, city the worst it could possibly be right out the gate? Well, that looks awful. These? Oil resources, ore resources, farming, and forestry. Amount of water. Okay. So I think I want to try and aim for as low oil. I think, just because I don't want my city getting polluted with all that oil, and I don't want that much fracking to be going on. Well, if it's anything like SimCity, you're going to be polluting it with coal beforehand, so... Eh. <laughs> hmm. It God. seems like Green Plains is going to be, you know, your go-to for, you know, boring vanilla, you know, village town. I could t oh, I could make it a European city town. <laughs> Oi, come on down to Rockwood, mate. <laughs> uh, actually, I don't know if they drive on the right hand or on the left hand side in Australia. Mm. They do in uncultured. Yeah. Uh, what should we name the city? Um, UTV, but the V starts or starts. Ville. Yeah. Yeah. Suitable area for building 74%. Okay. Alright. I have no idea what any of that means. Uh, uh, there we go. Uh, I mm. like their little Twitter bird yeah. <laughs> for their loading screen. Well. And apparently, if you want to get news about this game, or if you want to talk about it, they tell you to chirp. Okay, well, we're here. I probably needed that. <laughs> Alright. Let's build some roads. Looks like your highway is in the upper right hand corner. Alright. So we need some roads. Hey, before we start building roads, you should see what buildings you can build right off the bat. So you can start planning. Absolutely nothing. Great. Road <laughs> City, here it comes. Population <laughs> Road. Let's see. How much money do I have to work with? 70,000. Alright. Let's go with. 2,000 on... No, no. 2,000. Two what the... F okay. <laughs> right click to end it. Right. Get your boulevard going. Nope, nope. There we go. No, no. I'm gonna need some electricity. Wind turbine. Coal power plants. Or a wind turbine. Hmm. Strangely enough, the wind turbine creates more noise than a coal power plant. Hmm. Mm hmm. Do I want? Uh, 
I think for this one, I'm going to go ahead and go with coal. I told you, man. <laughs> so the first thing that anyone's going to see once they enter your great city is going to be a nasty-ass coal plant. Uh, I don't know where to put it. Uh, well, you could have had a better situation for the overpass and where it came into play. Yeah. Uh, that's that's something I gotta take care of real quick. Hold on. Because it looks like one of the uh, the big gameplay features here and that switches from Swim City is you know you just can't place a power supply in your square and just have it magically power literally everything. So if you were to build it, you know, in a corner where the pollution would be reduced, it seems like you need to use uh, power lines to get them to where they need to go. Hmm. Uh, Alright, fine. We'll play by your games. So uh, just gonna go ahead and put it right there. And we're just gonna take this. We're gonna build a nice little power plant fucking in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, you best start building your city. here though. Well, start building some squares. What's that? Oh, oh. Getting funky. There we go. That's what I want. We got problems already, yeah. Yeah, at least it didn't displace the house. Oh yeah. Alright, so how do these work? Okay. Seems like you all you would do is just draw a line. Ah, okay. Maybe. Yep. Oh, no. Can't do that. There you go. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it should. I mean, if it's just barely touching. Oh no. Uh oh. I think as long as it just sits in the uh, that little perimeter, it should power all the things. Okay. Well. You just need to get some houses on that side of the street where that power line is. Yeah. Water pump station, pump water. Woo! <laughs> oh. Hey, yo, you need water to make water. Yeah. Oh, I can put this anywhere. Nice. Hey. Oh. 
Well, this doesn't matter because it goes through the houses. It's underground. So... Organized sewage pipe distribution? Push <laughs> off. Just have a giant one that runs underneath everything. Is that gonna solve the water issue? It should. Yep, there we go. I'm seeing some disappear right now. <laughs> On to the next problem. Everybody needs to go to the bathroom and they don't know where. Ah, oh, shit. Literally. Sitting in a little. Alright. Wait. Oh, I know what that is. Waste. What? Well. Yeah, pe people want me to pick up their trash. But I can't. I can't no, build that yet. I don't think that's garbage. I think that's like s sewage. Sewage is backing up. Well, now how do I fix that? Water and sewage. Always requires a water pumping station to work properly. Road connection not required. Do you so, have a body of water around that you can. I could connect there it go. there. Run yeah. a water... Yeah, you should, it looks like you're going to need to run a water pipe. Uh, it's going to be bad for the environment later on, but okay. And it's literally pumping downstream from... Yeah, I know! <laughs> ah! So chances are, if you're going to get water from the river... Don't go on that one. Go to the one to the west. Yeah. Uh, then, then I need to get electricity to it. Fuck. Hmm. I gotta get electricity to it. Well, you should be able just to drag from the southern tip of your neighborhood instead of having to go through all that stuff. Uh, I see, yeah. yeah. It just looks like, you know, that blue area of influence is just, you know, your universal power. Yeah, okay. And then I expand the town, so I need to expand its waters. Do you feel that this is a like what's the word I'm looking for a compromise that's alright to make considering that SimCity was you know basically able just to do this all for you automatically I feel yeah I kind of like this more because for one it feels more like I'm actually building a city well, because with SimCity, it was the, the roads built it along the way. And, like, the roads had the water edge. It had the water piping and it had the electricity, but you never saw the poles. Yeah. So it just seemed kind of off to me. Whereas this one, it's kind of like... I can... I can, uh... It, it, it at least looks like I'm building a city because... There's... You know, when you see a city, you expect power lines to tell you, hey, there's power here. Uh, so at least from it, an aesthetic standpoint, I kind of like this. Yeah, but now, you know, you're playing the game where you have to, you know, nitpick every single little, you know, piece, you know, yeah. to try and get everything. Like, you have literally one house that doesn't have water on that side of the road. <laughs> so you just need to, you know put in, like, maybe, you know, a block's worth of pipe just to cover that little, you know, squared zone. <laughs> I just noticed, yeah, this is fucking one area. Man, you know, city projects, so incompetent.
<laughs> My people aren't happy. They're tweeting bad things about me. Yeah. Apparently Twitter in this world is only read by government officials. Well, you're... No, oh, I can't even re... Oh, oh boy. Well, I'm not using water. Just straight up... That is the only river that is in, that is connected to my area. Yeah. So... I guess I'm not using the water. Well, I believe, at least in cities... Once you reach a certain milestone, it'll actually allow you to expand outside of your boundaries, so... You can start capitalizing on, you know, the west part of the river. So you have one happy, content, square block of neighborhood. You have... A Strangely enough, 421 people living in, you know, what city would be considered a shoebox. <laughs> Everybody's happy. Yeah. Perfect time for expansion. Go crazy. That's pretty crazy. I like it. Can I do the... Well, I think you, there's that little tooltip over, uh... Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah. How does it work? Curve road. I think if you just draw the outline, it'll try and curve to a... Oh, yeah, yeah. I want it... I want it there. Oop. Oh. Oh. Oop. Oh. It okay. kind of works like the pen tool. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. That's how that works. Riverside. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Built some nice, wonderful homes. You know, straddling the cliffside, ready to fall into the polluted shit river. <laughs> <laughs> Visit UTVville. Our town's river's the shit, literally. <laughs> Egyptian I road. <laughs> uh, see, I don't necessarily know how I want to build. That's the like the like. I can go for the most efficient town ever, or I could actually, you know, try and build a decent fucking town. I think we're way past decent at this point, but. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, go wild. What's the worst that could happen? Hmm. I mean, leave yourself some money, you know. Yeah. Maybe you should try and, you know, city plan that little pocket that you have now. The one that you have the power line running through. Oh yeah, that's a good point. You know, make a nice little neighborhood out of that. You're losing a house. Sorry. Oh, they're actually a dog. Oh, that sucked. <laughs> oh Dick. man, I didn't think they'd be bummed that we bulldozed their house. No, that actually, like, I didn't expect that. That kind of sucks. Hey, man. I don't want to fuck up their shit. Gentrification ain't cheap. Mm -hmm. Damn it. Damn it. I can't get it built. 
fuck? You're gonna have no matter to what, these people are gonna lose their house. You're gonna have to make the tough choice. One person has to. Just know that you're on your second term at this point. I mean, I think that's how mayoral stuff works. So, um, anything you do, set in stone. They can't take you out. <laughs> Ew. Wait, what? Nothing sounds better than a high-energy plankton wafer. Yum. Yeah. Pulled straight from Shit River. The solid bits are the most nutritious. Uh. Oh. Are those little, uh graphs right next to our name is that needs or is that like density right now high demand for residential zone uh, apparently people want to live here yeah that's the uh <laughs> that's the res the zoning needs so obviously it wants me to zone more residential people need a house and they literally do not care where they live otherwise they would have made the better choice <laughs> Congratulations! 500 poor souls decided to take residence in your poor excuse for a town. Woo! You can now tax the shit out of them.